so this is my three week postpartum and I have the girls here and for the most part they're quite content being together this close. Who knows how long they'll fit in this small bassinet together. It's uh, nice and easy to carry them around the house. So to my right is Kira and to the left is Mia. They just fed and uh, most likely are gonna sleep throughout this whole video, I'm hoping. You never know. I cannot believe it's already been three weeks. It feels like it's only been one week, but I guess time flies when you're having a ball or when you're like super exhausted. The girls are still very foreign to me. I never know how the day's gonna go. So let's just talk about the girls first. Um, they were nice and healthy. If you wanted to see my labor and delivery story, I'll have a link down below. Uh, Benji and Juliana joined us for that video too. And you could also watch the vlog. So there's lots of footage there. At their first checkup, it was their 48 hour checkup. It turned out that both of them had jaundice. So Kira had higher levels than Mia and they both had light treatment. Thank goodness it was only for one night. Other than that, um, health-wise, they've been perfect. It's still hard to tell how they are personality-wise. Um, in the vlogs, it may seem that Kira is like the whiner and she cries a lot, but they really do take their turns being what we call DQ, also known as drama queen, but most of the time they just want to be held, which I don't mind doing, but it's kind of hard too when you have a toddler running around, but we're managing and we're very lucky that we have all the help that we have. Like Benji's sister lives with us and my mom helps out a lot, so does Benji's mom. They each have a dimple. So Kira has a dimple on her right cheek and then Mia has one on the left. It's so cute. And some people are saying that they're, it's what's called a mirror twin. Um, I, I don't know much about mirror twins, but basically they have the same thing. It's just an opposite size, which get this. This is kind of crazy too. So they got like, I don't know, I guess an eye infection. Juliana had it when she was a newborn too, but like where it just gets like gunky in the eye but they have it on opposite eyes and they got it on the exact same day. So I thought that was so awkward. But um, right now what I'm just using is my breast milk to help clear it. And they pretty much do everything around the same time. Like their bowel movements are also on the same schedule. Well, I guess it makes sense because I feed them at the same time too. So that's pretty much the update with them. Um, symptoms with me, towards the end of the pregnancy, I had major carpal tunnel, which my doctor said is common for pregnant women. And I couldn't even make a fist. Um, my fingers would lock up and I still have very slight carpal tunnel on my left hand. I don't know if you can see this, but yeah, you can see it with my middle finger, it locks up. Uh, my swelling has gone down 100%, thank goodness. I had like log feet the last few weeks of the pregnancy and within a week, I think at the end of the very first week, that's when all the swelling went down. Also, I have lost a significant amount of weight. Well, obviously I gave birth to twins and I'm sure that was probably 15 to 20 pounds in itself. But so far I have lost 31 pounds and I know 100% of it is due to breastfeeding because I'm breastfeeding, I kid you not, every two hours. It's physically exhausting and for yeah, for like the first two weeks, it was emotionally exhausting and stressful because, um, you know, Mia wasn't latching on. You know, she's doing a lot better now. And speaking of exhaustion, sleep has been off and on as well. And our nights, we never know when we're going to have a good night. We're still trying to figure out a technique or a schedule on feeding the girls so that they have a smooth night. But since they're still newborns it's hard to tell when they're going to get up when they're going to be hungry again because it's not always consistent um, but luckily i do have a very supportive husband he is more than willing to help if i need him to get some formula for me he will oh and that's another thing i am topping them off with formula when i feel like they're not getting enough milk that's one thing we didn't do with our firstborn juliana she had exclusively my breast milk for like the first five months and she was always fussy and 
like now looking back i feel like i didn't have enough supply and that's why she was fussy but then she would always like spit up my milk but the reason why we started off with formula for these girls is because they were they were losing so much weight um they lost like 14 percent of their birth weight within the first few days so we were trying to plump them up until my breast milk came in all the way but we still like to top them off with formula just to like guarantee that they're more than satisfied. I think that's pretty much it for my update. I will show you my belly. I'm still wearing maternity pants because they're the most comfortable and my regular jeans are super tight. Here's my belly. My Linnea Negra is very visible. I think it goes away like four months later or so. But uh, now it's just pretty much flab. My stretch marks aren't as bad as I thought they would be because I got a significant amount of stretch marks with these two. But uh, wow, look at that. It's like dough. It's so gross. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, oh. So if you guys have any questions, post them in the comments below and I will do a Q&A answer video. Q&A answer video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in our daily vlogs. Bye. Bye, guys. Oh, look at the little fat cheeks. Oh.